Hey everybody, this is Indie Geek, and today I'm taking a look at uh, the beta version of Monsters and Medicine. I should mention right off the bat, being beta, there may be some bugs, uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue. But uh, this is an upcoming game, should be out in about a month or so, uh, from Clockwork Acorn, and it is coming out for PC and Linux, with Mac, iOS, and Android coming later. Uh, but I will link in the description below to the webpage where you can pre-order the game um, for I believe it's four dollars now and it'll be five when it comes out but um, let me jump up here and I'll just start off with some of the easy levels show you what's going on because essentially what we have is a puzzle game so the goal here is that we need to get ten monsters cured before five monsters die and basically we've got different colored monsters and of course they correspond to their uh, colored room and that's basically like the gist of what's going on here. This is uh, like a very very simple first level just to show you what's going on with that. But If I jump forward a few levels you'll see that we start getting different colored monsters. We've got some different room layouts here that will do various things. So basically what these do is wherever these line up uh, it'll give it like an extra bed in the room so we can help one more monster in that room. So, um, you know, as, as we move on, we get, of course, different modifiers to our rooms, things like that, that, um, that will really kind of change the, the gameplay, as well as just giving us kind of a harder time to figure out the puzzles, of course, because then there will be more elements to the puzzles themselves. So, um, but basically what, what's going to happen here is that we are trying to cure a certain number of monsters before um, the the other number is killed, if that makes sense. So I've put myself in kind of a tight spot. Let's see if I can do like that. Yeah, I think I'm still going to be okay here. <clears throat> I should still be able to finish this level. Um, there is like a bit of randomness to it. And that can, uh, that may be like my only complaint because it is a puzzle game. So I feel like maybe randomness is not the best element to have, but um, I, you know, it's never taken me like more than two or three tries on a puzzle to finish it. So now we've got another room modifier. Um, it looks like we kind of have like a weird graphical glitch, but don't worry about that. Um, that has happened before as well, actually, and I think what's going on is like just because this is still an alpha version there's there's a little um, kind of hitches in it every once in a while but nothing like too bad nothing game breaking that I've experienced so I am not too concerned about that um, these basically make the rooms heal the monsters faster so that's what's going on with these rooms so kind of just one more room type to throw in there to sort of complicate things. Um, we can use this vial here to like manually heal one monster because of course one thing that does start to be something that we have to pay attention to is kind of the order like so we can see the ones that are jumping are the ones that are going to be able to go into a room. Um, so like this guy right behind him cannot go in because there isn't room. So I'll manually heal, heal him in order to not have a death. And then I'll probably do the same thing here, and then we win. So that is that. And then I'll jump in with another one. So this actually has a combination of um, increasing the healing rate as well as increasing the number of beds in the room. So uh, as you can see, like these puzzles do start getting a little bit complicated and that's that's definitely a good thing there's nothing wrong with a little bit of complicated uh, and in fact I would say that as far as like kind of the flow of this puzzle game I feel like um, you know it's, it's handled very very well it, it moves at a really good pace and I feel like there's there's new elements introduced like every few levels so it, it kind of stays feeling fresh the whole time and that's that's really good and I'm actually really really excited to um, 
get to see more. You know, I've, I've spent maybe half an hour with the game so far, and uh, I'm just looking forward to spending time with a little bit more of it. And kind of seeing what what uh, what the next kind of element will be thrown at me is, because, like I said, uh, every few levels I've had kind of a new experience. So, there's, there's definitely a lot to this. Uh, it's kind of a, a simple on the surface, but it, it's... I, I guess you would say it's um, easy to learn, hard to master, which would be kind of the classic sort of uh, description for that. So this is uh, this level is kind of a challenge just because you see that we're given very little to work with at the beginning and we have to kind of build our way out. But uh, it shouldn't be anything too terribly difficult. I have finished this level before, so it should be alright. Alright, so what I want to do here is maybe go like this put this in and then maybe like that guy that should give us like a ton of room um i'm actually going to manually heal him just so we can get the line moving ahead a little bit but i mean as far as the gameplay i think that pretty much like sums up what's going on with the gameplay um past that there's a lot of other really good things going on as well um, I, th I think the music is great for one. Uh, it is a little repetitive. I, I think there's only been like this one track and it kind of just loops. But uh, you know it's a nice track and of course being that this is just like a, a puzzle game the music doesn't have to be like super prominent or anything. And I feel like this this track does a really good job of kind of just providing a nice background to the gameplay. And I would say that in a, in a puzzle game, that's exactly what you want. So I'm going to do that. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was really dumb. I accidentally double-clicked. I only meant to single-click. Okay. I can salvage this, maybe. Maybe. Um, Alright, let's try this. Okay, I definitely got to get a yellow in here, so we'll do that. Yeah, like I was saying though, um, I think the music is, is really good. And, um, you know, I found it getting kind of stuck in my head a little bit, actually. Oh man, yeah, we're going to have to redo this level. Um, in fact, I'm just going to let myself lose here. We will restart. That was a really bad way for me to start that one off. Um, this is actually, I believe it's supposed to be a harder level as well, because occasionally you get levels that, like, are off the main path of, like, the level select, and this was one of them, so I think these are supposed to be, like, a little bit harder, like, maybe challenge levels, in a sense, I guess, is what you could say. Um, I'm not totally sure if that's true or not, though. But uh, it seems like it is going much better this time, now that I haven't done anything really dumb. Alright, we'll go like that. And then... Ooh. Um... Okay, I th think what I want to do is this. Yeah, because that was able to move up quite a bit of our line there. And then maybe if I do this, that'll help some things. <clears throat> yeah, now we look like we're doing pretty good. Okay, perfect. So now maybe I'm going to go like that. And of course another thing to notice is like we've got this water puddle in the hole. Those provide kind of um, just kind of an obstacle that you have to sort of work around. So that also... Um, adds a little bit of difficulty to things. Hmm. That's not really what I want to use, is it? That won't really have an effect. Um. I guess I'll just, like, add another room. Uh, it might actually be worth shuffling. You can, like, shuffle your, your rooms. And sometimes you, you definitely want to do that. Ooh, 
that's gonna be a good turn for us. But sometimes just like adding hallways is also a good way to spend a turn. Nice. Okay, um, so maybe I'll just like start one more level. Probably won't actually finish it, but. Uh, so yeah, I mentioned the music. Um, I think the art style is really good as well. Sorry about this weird kind of graphic thing going on. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure what's causing that. But um, yeah, I think I think from from a graphical perspective as well, uh, you know, it's it's definitely pretty to look at. I think it's it's almost got that kind of like um, kind of a threes vibe where like all the monsters have their own little sort of personality that kind of stuff and uh, I can definitely get behind that okay, let's do that man we're gonna be cutting this one close um, in fact I don't know if I can actually get through this one uh, what if I do that Nope, that lost it. Yeah, but um, I think this is probably a good place to um, to end this one. Like I said, uh, if I was going to have any issues, I think it would be the fact that a lot of whether or not you win or lose seems to be based sort of on randomness, like which monsters you get, which rooms you get. But it's never like it's never that annoying, and I never feel like upset or anything that that I didn't get to win or something like that because um, in general I just want to keep playing more anyways so it's not really like a huge deal in my opinion but uh, yeah I think the the gameplay I think this there's, there's kind of a good solid concept here I think the music's good I think the art's good I think overall it's just a really good game as of right now and I'm excited to see uh, what happens with it I'm not quite sure how many levels there are you can see that uh, it still keeps going, so uh, I would imagine that it, that it keeps going for a while, and I think that's cool. I think this is, um, you know, a good game to pick up. I think it's at a good price, good good concept here, and uh, overall, it's just a really good puzzle game. So, like I said, I will link in the description to where you can pre-order it for yourself. But uh, with that, I will end this for today. So, as always, feel free to comment if there's anything that you would like to comment on. Subscribe to see more videos every single day, and if you liked my video on monsters and medicine, then please do consider clicking the like button. But with that, I will uh, thank you, of course, for watching, and I will see you next time.